What's going on, YouTube? Uh, this is Lamont at Large in the comforts of my home. Uh, this is not a location video. I know I always go to the scene of the crime, always will continue to do so. Uh, however, today I wanted to talk about something unusual that happened to me uh, last week. So... If you've been on my channel long enough uh, to know, uh, my titles of my videos are always straightforward. Um, I might embellish slightly, uh, but when you see a title, I'm pretty much talking about that subject. And I always look to get suggestions from subscribers about what stories I should do or talk about or what have you or what scenes, crime scenes in uh, cemeteries and so forth that I should go vlog. And I want to say of all the emails that I get, I probably do one video a month of somebody that sends me a suggestion. And the reason why is because basically it's only two reasons. Number one, uh, I'm never there. Uh, somebody will give me a really good idea. Uh, somebody gave me two ideas, great, great blogs, great stories. In Dayton, Ohio. I'm not in Dayton, but I wrote that down and I will do those when I get out there later this summer. And the other main reason why I don't, um, I only do one per month is because usually people send me the stuff that everybody has already talked about. They've already talked about this case. This case has been brought through the ringer and it's been talked about so much. I just honestly don't have any interest in speaking about it. Uh, I feel for the victims in the stories that I'm talking about where I don't have an interest in talking about it because it's been talked about to death, no pun intended, but it has. One of those stories is the Kaylee Anthony case. Uh, I don't even need to explain what happened because everybody already knows about that case. I want to say in the last 10 or so years, that case, I can't think of another case that has been talked about more than the Kaylee Anthony case. I could probably, one will probably come to mind but that case has been just all over the place. Everybody on YouTube, everybody on YouTube that you watch, uh, any true crime blogger or whatever, they've already talked about it. There's no more left to discuss other than my opinion about it. So I've gotten a few emails. I get about four or five emails a day and I get that, you know, hey, Kaylee Anthony, Kaylee Anthony. And I don't want to do it just because, as I just mentioned. So, I'm talking to Kale, and I say, hey, listen, do you think I should vlog that story? She said, yeah, it'll get views. Okay, well, you know, the name of the game on YouTube is you got to get views. You know, you make a little bit of money off of the ad revenue. I'll get the, the one, one fourth of a penny per view or whatever. And I said, okay, okay, well, let's, you know, we'll, we'll look at it. So, I start reading about the case. And I start writing down all of the locations that I can film or vlog, uh, like anything pertaining to do with the case. One of the locations is where Casey Anthony lived with her mother and father uh, and her daughter, Kaylee. So it never, it never fails. Every time I'm in my van, there's always loud noises. Every time I vlog, every time I do videos, it never stops. Anyways, Moving along. So, one of the locations I write down is the house where Kaylee lived with her parents and, uh, and, and her mother before they moved to the apartment with the boyfriend. And then about a week or so later, uh, she wound up missing. Or, you know, whatever. Dead. And so, I said... This guy can't possibly still live here. He, he just can't. I mean, everybody... I remember um, people uh, going to his house at 11 o'clock at night and yelling at him, you killed her, and, uh, you know, you're guilty, and just totally harassing this guy. I felt bad for him. And I was reading online that the house had gone through foreclosure a couple times. Like maybe they almost lost a house. Maybe they weren't able to make the bank note on it. The house isn't terribly expensive. It looks like maybe a three hundred fifty thousand house dollar house at best. I have no idea. 
So I said, oh, he can't live there anymore. So I said, I'm not going to do the video. But what I will do is I'll record me just driving by the house and I'll put it up on YouTube's Most Wanted. I'm actually going to change the name of that channel. Um, I'm just figuring out, I'm not figuring out yet what I should exactly do with it. So I said, I'll just put it up on there. That's it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go to the locations. I'm not going to vlog it. Just vlog it. Just because I'm not, I'm just honestly not interested in the case. I feel terrible for the little girl. I just don't want to do it. So I'm driving to the neighborhood. It's a nice neighborhood. So I'm approaching the house and I'm looking, 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 and I see the house and the garage is open. I said, okay, whatever. And I'm passing by and I see a guy wearing a green shirt. And I looked and I kind of glanced and it's George Anthony. It's Casey Anthony's dad. And I passed by his house. I said, oh crap. I can't believe this guy still lives here. That's insane. You would have thought he just would have left after all that, you know, harassment and what have you. So I go to the end of the block and I'm, I'm going to admit it. I'm not going to lie. The cringy YouTuber in all of us YouTubers comes out of me. And I, and I am recording, by the way, while I'm doing this, my camera is facing out towards the street. And I said, wow, that's, that's him. He's, I can't believe he's still lives here. So I said, well, let me turn around and let me get a better shot of him. And now I'm in full cringe mode. I'm just the cringiest YouTuber on the planet at that moment in my life. And I don't think I'll ever forget this for the rest of my life. So I'm driving down the street. I'm probably doing about 15 miles an hour. And as I'm going back to the street, I look at him and the cringe fest that is happening inside of my van. I take my, I take my phone and I take it off the mount and I just turn it like this and I look dead at him, just right at him. And he does this. Just like that. Didn't make eye contact with me. And as soon as I did that, I felt like the biggest pile in Orlando. I felt so terrible that I did that to him. I felt really, really bad. I, I felt really, really bad. And I'll tell you why I felt really, really bad. Now, this guy has been through hell. First of all, his granddaughter is dead. His daughter to him is dead because he disowned her from what I read online. He has nothing to do with her. He wants nothing to do with her. They don't talk. I, as far as I know, the she still lives in Florida. I guess she was shacking up with the a private investigator. And then supposedly you have all the stories about her wanting to be a PI, which is a, a friggin' joke. And... You know, and plus, don't forget, this man was also in a really bad car accident. He almost became a paraplegic. He had to wear that halo on his head after the accident. When you wear one of those, yeah, you were this close to becoming um, uh, a, 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 a wheelchair person for the rest. I mean, excuse me, not a wheelchair person, but a person in the wheelchair for the rest of your life. And as soon as I did that, I turned the corner. I'm like, what did I just do? I can't believe I just did that. And I felt like so bad. And I called my friend. I was like, you ain't going to believe who was outside of the house. I said, it was George Anthony. And she's like, what? And she goes, are you going to upload the video? I said, yeah. And then she, uh, she kind of edited the video a little bit. And I watched the video. And I said, you know what? I can't do it. I, j I can't. I cannot upload this because this guy has been through so much trauma and, and just for the rest of his life, this guy 
always, every time he goes outside, if he goes to the store, if he goes to McDonald's or whatever, because he looks so distinctive. I mean, he's aged quite a bit since everything uh, was in the case, but, you know, he still has, uh, uh, you know, a lot of his hair and, you know, he, but he has aged a lot. I think that accident really just totally aged him about 20 years. And there, there's nothing more left to talk about that case. There's nothing more left except my opinion about it. And, <clears throat> you know, it's like this. The problem with our justice system is it's imperfect. And when the prosecution has to meet the burden of proof as to where Casey Anthony was responsible for the death of Kaylee Anthony, they just did not do that. Now, if they would have charged her with third degree manslaughter or something less like that, where maybe the burden is not as hard. And then she says like, ah, you know what? Let me go ahead and just take a deal. Just so I, you know what I mean? But they just, they, they came out with the first degree murder. I believe it could have been second degree. Um, I don't know. And they did the, the, the jury just, they did the, the jury did their job. That that's it. I mean, you guys could be mad at the jury all you want, but they did their job. They did that as, as exactly as they were told. So, and in a weird sense, that was a good jury. I, uh, per you know, in the court uh, system, she was found not guilty. In the uh, court of public opinion, at the minimum, she had something to do with her daughter's murder. And she knows who did it. And at the other end of that, uh, she took her own daughter's life. You don't go clubbing and dancing uh, after your child has been missing. or You don't, you don't go out because you're a normal person is in mourning. You're distraught. Your life is an absolute uh, mess. And you're not thinking like, let me go hit the dance floor. And, uh, you know, she... Like George Zimmerman, two of Florida's Florida's biggest pieces of filth, George Zimmerman and Casey Anthony, will never be able to go in public, especially George Zimmerman, because he's he's a lot more uh, noticeable. Casey Anthony, she could wear a woman could wear her hair ten different ways. And nobody will pay her any mind. And that's exactly what she probably does. She could grow it out. She could cut it short. She could dye it. George Zimmerman is just there. And however, if anybody recognizes these two, they will never be able to go out in public. Uh, I don't even know how they're able to hold a job. I mean, who's going to hire these people? And... I'm not saying that they deserve for people to verbally and physically harass them. I believe that somebody actually almost killed uh, George Zimmerman. And uh, I'll tell you this. I think he deserves everything he has coming to him, as well as Casey Anthony. And however, they were found not guilty by a uh, jury of their peers. And that is it. And... I thought that that man, you know, for for people to say the things that he did, that he that he did stuff with his daughter, and then blah blah blah. You know, at the end of the day, I I, I did I did hear the rumors, read the rumors. Um, I can't go into any detail just because I don't know. Uh, that's a very serious accusation, and I'm not one to go ahead and say like, oh, that's true, or, oh, that's not true, I don't know. Um, all, all I can say is that, uh, uh, you know, the last few years of his life, um, you know, they're, they're gonna be very, very sad and very, very lonely. That's all I could say about that. So that's the reason why I didn't upload the video, but I felt the need to, to talk about it just because I wanted to get that off my chest because yes, for about, for about five minutes, I was a cringy YouTuber and you know, I know a lot of my videos, I know a lot of people don't care for them and I know a lot of people find me, uh, well, I, you know, I get some emails, that, you know, unkind words and it is what it is. Um, I don't mind it at all. Um, 
it, it, it is what it is at the end of the day. It's just, a, it's a hobby of mine that's turned into a uh, gig, not a job, it's a gig. Anyways, guys, uh, I want to thank you for listening to me talk for, <laughs> I mean, you guys listening to me talk on throughout my videos and it still amazes me that people want to even sit there and listen to me or at least put me on while they're you know cleaning or driving to work or <clears throat> what have you uh but i do feel bad for that guy and that's why i just didn't upload it but uh neither here nor there anyways guys uh i will see you uh on the next vlog have a good day god bless and uh peace out